All right, so here's a demo of the console pedal I've been working on. So I just uh, recorded myself playing a little bit into this uh, looper here. It's going to play into the guitar pedal, and then that's going to go into this little speaker here. Um, basically, the different guitar pedals are inside of these little cartridges. So I've got a clear one to make it a little bit easier to see. Uh, this is the uh, echo or delay pedal that I've been working on. Uh, this actually one just put together pretty recently, so that'll be nice to test out on here. Um, yeah, I've been making these little labels on them so they look a little bit nicer. I'll probably have to do different ones later just to make that one the text on that a little bit nicer. But basically, just have the clean signal going through here. You can hear that maybe a little bit louder. Get that going. And I have my uh, two screamer clone here. I'll want to make a label for that eventually. See that one's there. I have the gain here, volume here, tone here. I can change that around. Swap that out. Maybe I want to use my uh, tremolo over here. See, so I plug that in. That's the rate LED there. So you can say I can change that. With that as well. You can see, it's cutting in and out the audio signal, and so you can change how much it's cutting in and out. So if I turn that up, you can hear a little bit of the original signal a little bit better. Pop that one out of there. Got my normal, oops, normal distortion on here. So that's a little bit of a, this is just a one transistor distortion there, not as complicated as the two screamer one I went made uh, pretty recently. This is a fuzz pedal in here, just a fuzz face clone. That goes into there. Hear that one a little bit. A little bit different than the other distortions. This would be my echo here. And then this one is a teensy, so it's a little Arduino in there that I've been working on. So I kept that one open so I could reprogram it. You can see the sound sounds a little bit different. I had to change some software stuff to get that to sound just right. But now as I hit that button, you can see the LED changing. And then the last one I've got on here. This is the uh, this is an eight guitar, so it's a bit crusher in there. It sounds a little bit better when the input volume is a little lower. 